guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season one of the Cuts One Parade. And honestly, like, I've been putting this off because, I mean, I really wanted to do this, but at the same time, I was like, it's kind of sad because this is the last um, show that'll be airing on television. And as of right now, I don't really know how they're going to do the web shows if they're going to really be sub but honestly because like i also saw something like the day i downloaded this episode and um it said it had episode 26 but it was just like a parody thing that some people were doing with actual footage from the show so still i really don't know up until now but other than that let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three two one go This better not make me cry. <laughs> one day I'm going to make one of those. I'm going to eat it and it's going to be so freaking good. <gasps> ah! All the main characters are together, oh my god. gracious thing yeah and honestly i was assuming the fact is that the last episode of season one it would have had every single protagonist from every single series performed together for one last episode because still when the game came out the mobile game on the phone came out and they did the akari chan ichigo music video and they were finally saying like yes these two were a unit because when OG Aikatsu ended and we never really got to see those two perform as a unit and we got to see it in the music video for the game, I was still a little upset because I was like, you could have done it for the TV show, but I get the fact is that not everything can be animated. You don't really have the time. So it's just like, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. I just, I can feel it. I just know myself. You never know. I might like tear up a little bit. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Oh, a new girl kind of has hair like Coco. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the look you all had. Oh. Your door's open. Your sister? That's not fair Yeah, and plus, when you depart them, will they even have memories of this? Ah, I'm tearing up. Oh my god.
<laughs> We're not even done with the episode. I'm only 10 minutes in and I'm already crying. You would think that they would have the crystal mic that Ichigo gave to Akari-chan just to like give a little throwback like oh my god I can't. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I would have never thought they would have did this, but one last time. It's so sweet. Oh. You know what would be really nice if they would just show like each thing in each series of transforming. Oh my god, that would be so pretty and nice and sweet.
ang iisip ko. Seems like a really long dream. So it's like episode one all over again. Oh, okay. Are we finally gonna have them like be in a friends unit? Again. Oh my god.
No. That was a perfect ending to season one. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay, so final thoughts on season one. I loved this. This is something that I had wanted for a long, long, long freaking time. And if you would have told me back in 2012 when I started this series after I graduated high school that by 2020 we would have gotten... I cut to all stars, <laughs> Avengers. I probably would have looked at you like you were crazy, but the fact that this happened, it's really nice. But the biggest thing is, like I said at the beginning of the episode before it started, with the fact that we're getting a season two and it's a web series, is it going to be fun? That's the biggest thing that I'm kind of wondering as of right now. I haven't really seen anything. I may have to go back on my Instagram and check on my friend's Instagram who posts I could do stuff and to see if the music video or performance that they had is sub because then uh, then I could possibly find it or I would have to wait until maybe this weekend but this was a really good series and I'm glad that all my girls were in this not everybody got focused but that's okay it happens you never truly know who's gonna get that main focus but Rocky was such a really good protagonist I love her dearly just like the other four or no no six <laughs> five really but it was great. It was really, really good. And it made me miss, like, watching the show from the beginning to now. And ever, anytime if I really wanted to, I probably would sit and rewatch the show from the beginning again. But, okay, so just for now, it, it just, even though it's going to be from spring to summer, it's going to be two whole seasons without Aikatsu, even though it's going to be airing online on their YouTube cha page, but it's still going to feel weird. It's going to feel weird going into, like, typically, like, my Sundays, I usually try to watch both Aikatsu and Pretty Care on the same day, because sometimes um, Aikatsu is usually subbed on that day, but sometimes it's usually Mondays. It's going to feel weird to not really have this show on there. But like I said, unless the uh, the web series also gets subbed as well, then we'll be able to continue it. But I mean, honestly, this was such a good series. I'm glad, you know, Rocky Chan and everyone else was in the show because this was so good. I'm glad the fact that Rocky passed her friends unit with Wakaba because we all kind of knew that was going to happen. So the biggest thing that I'm wondering is with season two, are they going to be able to perform together? And if so, like, I mean, because it's just the same VA performing a song together. And I really want that just to see the dynamic of Wakaba and Rocky together, because I think it would be really, really good. And I think it would be nice. I just want to see, you know, Noelle finally getting her shine and the girls at Dream Academy getting more shine. Because to me, in my opinion, the second season of OG Aikatsu, Seta was the one who truly got that main focus while Maria, um, Sora, and I don't remember the other girl's name, the blonde with the pigtails and stuff, um, to me didn't get that much focus as much as said it did because it was literally at the end of the second season, looking back at it on a year, was literally the focus of Ichigo and then Seta and then everybody else, but the other girls at Dream Academy only really got maybe one or two episodes really focusing on them, so because of the fact is that we're going back to Dream Academy in season two, I'm guessing we're going to get a little more focus for them. And honestly, I'm really happy for that because as I said, they, in my opinion, did not get the best focus. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards season one of I Cut to One Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys hopefully whenever. I, I think the web episode has already come out. I'm not 100% sure. If not, then it should be out by this Saturday. Um, if it gets subbed by this weekend, then I'll have it out. But if not, we're just going to really honestly be playing the waiting game. Not only for that, but I will also see you guys in 
<laughs> um, and the start of autumn for the newest series. It could be continuing from season two of I Got to Land Parade, or it could be something different, but whatever it is, that day when it airs, whenever it gets subbed, that is when you'll see me next time. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.